YouTube, we are here with our brand new revamp speed test. We've listened to your criticisms of our speed test in the past for phones. Now we have completely overhauled it. It's a brand new test. We're taking the same six phones you saw in the battery test. If you haven't seen it already, it's just here. Those are the LG G5, the Samsung Galaxy S7, the HTC 10, the Sony Xperia XZ, the Google Pixel, and the iPhone 7. We're taking those six and we're gonna put them through high intensity apps. We've dropped the internet, we've dropped startup. We're doing those really difficult things you find to do on your phone. Photo editing, video editing, gaming, all really difficult things to do. If you want a full description of the test, you can read it just down below. If not, let's just jump into it. We are seconds into this test and the iPhone 7 is already blitzing it ahead here and moving on to our second app. That's Asphalt 8, the first of three games you're going to see in this test. The Samsung, the Google and the Sony all seem to be in a similar position right now while the iPhone 7 is already on to our fourth game and the LG G5 has just loaded up Asphalt 8, our second app. Nova 3 is probably the hardest game that each of these phones is going to struggle with, but the iPhone 7 didn't struggle there at all. It absolutely smashed it. And we're now on to our video test with Adobe Premiere. Now, the Androids, again, are all going to struggle with that. You're going to see that in a moment, but the iPhone has just blitzed through that one as well. And we're on to Snapseed. The LG G5 is definitely in last place here. It's struggling with, I think that's Asphalt. No, that's, no, that's Nova 3, sorry. Uh, Snapseed is just finished up on the iPhone and we're on to our 3D graphics tool here. This again is a really, really intense test for each of these phones. But again, the iPhone has just smashed through it. Each of the Androids is struggling right now with Premiere or Nova 3. And there we go, we're on to the second lap on the iPhone 7. Each of those games is loaded in the background. It's gonna finish up the test very soon while the LG G5 is still struggling on that last test. It's only just getting into Adobe. There we have it. The iPhone 7 finishes at one minute and 11 seconds. Right, so it's time for the fight for second place. The Google Pixel and the Samsung Galaxy S7 comfortably have this. The Sony is a little bit just behind it, but between the Pixel and the S7 right now, they're flitting between second and third place. The LG G5 is still on Premiere there and it's struggling with it while the HD 10 and the Sony are on Snapseed. There we have it, the Google Pixel is onto the 3D rendering tool. Now, this is usually quite a difficult task for each of these phones, but the Pixel seems to be taking it in stride really. There we go, it's loaded up and that's the end of lap one for the Pixel and it's gonna speed away right now. The LG G5 still stuck in sixth position. And the Samsung is a little just behind the Pixel right now. There we go, there's the end of lap one. Uh, it is lagging a little bit behind that actually now. While the Sony and the HTC are both struggling with that uh, with the 3D rendering tool. There we go, there's the Sony ending lap one. And the Google Pixel comes in at two minutes and three seconds. Time to see if the Samsung holds on to third place. It looks like it's going to. The Sony is moving through its... Uh, Moving through its next lap, there we, there we go. The Samsung Galaxy S7 is finishing at two minutes and 18 seconds. Now it's time to see which comes in in fourth place. Now you would expect that to be the Sony right now, but Sony phones never hold apps and games in the background. So it's really struggling here. It's gonna have to load up each of these games. There we have it. The HC10 has overtaken it. It's absolutely bossing through these last few apps and it comes in at two minutes and 40 seconds. There we have it. So will the Sony hold on to fifth place? Let's hope so, but it looks like the LG G5 is about to overtake it. There we have it. The LG G5 somehow has come back from sixth place. It's all down to those apps being held in the background on the Sony though. There we go. The LG G5 comes in at two minutes and 56 seconds. Sony is really struggling here. There we go. The camera app to end it. There we have three minutes and six seconds for the Sony Xperia XZ. There you have it. In this particular test, the iPhone has absolutely bossed it again. The Apple phone is the best one to go for. That's down to the A10 Fusion processor inside the iPhone 7, but it's also down to the optimization of each of those apps in the iOS store. That's fantastic. If you want one of the fastest phones on the market, go for the iPhone. Now, personally, I find a lot of the more interesting scores in the Android space here. The Samsung Galaxy S7 has consistently been our fastest phone in each of these tests for since March when it was announced in all of our testing, but the Google Pixel here has overtaken it by quite a comfortable margin as well. So it may be that the Samsung is about to be dethroned in terms of the fastest phone. In this particular test it is, not for each individual task, but the Google Pixel has done really well. If you want a fast Android, go for the Google Pixel. Now, another interesting part of it is the LG G5 and the Sony Xperia XZ. You would think because the LG G5 scored in fifth place that it was faster than the Sony, 
It was in that test, but in terms of individual apps, I personally think the Sony is faster. You can see it in the test, rewind, like the Sony is faster there. It's just, it had to reload those games up again. It wasn't holding them in the background. So if you want one of the fastest Androids you can buy right now, you wanna go for the Google Pixel or you wanna go for the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now, please be honest about this test. Let us know in the comments below. We wanna know exactly how you feel about it. If you think we're using the wrong apps, if you think we're doing the wrong thing by doing high intensity apps, let us know. Let rip in the comments. Uh, uh, please like, subscribe to this video. You're going to see videos around me right now. You're going to see the battery test around here. And there should be a camera test around here in the next couple of weeks if you're not watching this on the publication date. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again soon.